Hi, I'm Chastity Reed. With 3D beam splitter camera rigs hovering around the $30,000 mark, we were surprised to find a rig at one-tenth of that price. Carl Kozak, president of 3D Film Factory, has such a unit at a price point of $2,500. This is the 3D SB rig or the 3D split beam rig and it's a small, compact, inexpensive rig that shoots 3D. Yeah, using two cameras, two, a dual camera system. And the split beam allows one camera to shoot through the glass and the other camera shoots off the glass, off the reflection of the glass, and they share the same image area. And you can actually change that distance, whether it's you know six inches apart or actually right on top of each other. The side-by-side -side rigs over here, just allow you to shoot bigger, wider shots. So if you're shooting, um, if you're in, you know, something like this and you want to shoot the buildings or if you're in a nature setting, anything beyond 15 feet, I would suggest a side-by-side -side rig. They're much easier and simpler to use. Anything under about 15 feet, it's an approximation, you start needing the, um, the split beam rig. That's because the cameras can't get close enough. The camera bodies stop the interaxial distance from getting close enough, so you actually need to get the cameras on top of each other. You can actually see in the reflection where they're sharing each other's image space right here, see? And you could never do that on a side-by-side, -side. they'd hit after that. So we can keep pushing this camera over until it's literally right on top of the other camera. This particular rig is the SB Indie rig and it's for indie cameras and that means prosumer style cameras. Canons, Panasonic, Sony's, all the prosumer models in that range. Right now we're working on a pro rig, split beam pro rig, will actually handle the red cameras and all the bigger, heavier, you know, cameras. Well, the more expensive cameras are nice. I mean, the PS Technic, there's some other brands. They've got a lot of bells and whistles. They've got um, electronics on them that, that kind of adjust for uh, convergence, where they actually tow the cameras in or out, um, and some kind of fine-tuning details. So they've got a little bit more adjustments on them and a little bit more bells and whistles. But generally speaking, this has got a really nice piece of glass that we've developed. And the rig, as long as you've got a nice piece of glass, the right cameras and the rig stays out of the way, you're gonna get the same picture quality as you will with a camera rig 10 times as much. This rig retails for $2,500. Uh, $2, and these are just a couple hundred dollars for the side-by-side -side rigs. So you can actually get something there really cheap. So this is $2,500. The other rigs, the next rig up is about $27,000. So you get 10 for the price of one. We've got just some simple eyebrows and, and um, you know barn doors on the side. This actually, this bar raises and lowers for the size of this camera. This slides side to side and it has a piece of plastic that actually covers up some of the light. You want to try to keep as much light out of the box as you can. So on the side here you might use gaffer's tape or duvetine. Um, and then the back side of the rig right here, this camera just slides in and out, slides right off, right on in, locks in place. Really simple design. Same thing with this camera. That's all it is. It's a glorified you know, mirror box, really. And all this has, has Velcro so you can actually just tear it apart and see right inside. You've got two cam cameras in a perpendicular posture with the um, glass at a 45 degree angle. And this is all adjustable, of course, in here too as well. This is, this, like I said, this is for the uh, indie filmmaker that wants to make something, a short feature, on a smaller feature on 3D, in 3D, and they don't have the $27,000 to spend, really. Um, and, you know, you really can get the same picture quality with this rig as you can with the more expensive one. You just need to know what you're doing. You need to play around with it a little bit, kind of practice. I'm a filmmaker for starters. I have been for about 15 years. I have a movie coming out next week called Skid Marks. Hits shelves, hits uh, Netflix and Walmart uh, June 16th. Uh, I've written and directed four feature films. And I wanted to start shooting some 3D stuff of my own. And I was trying to find that place and, and some equipment that I could afford, that I could own myself. And I just was amazed there was only several companies out there doing this for a very high price. And I thought, geez, I, I bet I could do something cheaper for less money and similar quality. So I came up with this with the help of a stereographer, some stereographers, and some engineers. Yeah, and it's been fun. I've shot um, a lot of nature stuff, a lot of action sports, a lot of extreme sports in 3D. But uh, just go to our website, 3dfilmfactory.com, www.3dfilmfactory.com, and you'll see the rigs on there. Uh, we also do 2D to 3D conversions. We convert any type of 2D media to 3D. We developed our own software in-house for that. Um, so I started off with the rigs and other stuff's kind of come out of that. You know? So we do a number of different productions in 3D. While Carl doesn't know where they'll price their new rig for the red, he did suggest $6,000 might be in the neighborhood. For more information, visit their website at 3dfilmfactory.com. In Hollywood, I'm Chastity Reed.